Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. You may remember several months ago I did a video on Topaz Labs Sharpen AI, and in that video I gave it a poor review. I just couldn't get it to work and it really didn't meet my expectations. A lot of people disagreed with me. If you go to that video and look at the comment section, you'll see that many people vehemently disagreed with me. They're saying it's their best sharpener they ever used, it's their go-to sharpener, and so on. Well, I just couldn't get it to work. Well, last night, uh, Topaz Labs updated Sharpen AI, and with this new update, I must say they addressed really every issue I have with it, and now I think it's really very, very good. And I'm going to demo it and show you two new features that are in it, and I want to mention something else. One of my complaints with Sharpen AI was that when you used auto settings, it more often than not just over sharpened the image. And then you had to just move the sliders and you really just kind of, you know, tried moving them down, whatever. And then you had to do another preview and it was very time consuming. Well, they seem to have refined the algorithm it uses for sharpening. And now it seems to, uh, when you use auto, nail it and if it doesn't nail it it's super close so it saves you a lot of time now compared to what it was yesterday so um, I think that is a great new uh, feature although it's really not an advertised new feature they do have two new features though that are really significant first of all one of my other complaints boy I sound like a real crabby guy don't I one of my other complaints with it was the modes it has three modes sharpen stabilize and focus and you didn't often know which one to use. You might say, well, my image is a little soft. I didn't nail focus. So you click on the focus button, generate a preview, take some time. And then you look at it, it goes, eh, it didn't really improve it that much. So then you'll try stabilize. Then you'll try sharpen. You'll find actually more often that one of the other ones that you didn't think would work is the best. So it took a lot of time. Well, the, one of the new features it has in this version is it has an auto mode feature. Just turn it on and it will automatically pick the mode that should work best for your image. In this case, it shows sharpen. And again, I'll go to the auto feature for settings that, of course, was there before. But in my opinion, it's much better now. They refined it. And you can see with these double auto settings, it's saying that um, sharpness should be 69, noise suppression 7. And I'll go down and update a preview right here because I do not have auto update preview on so it'll do it now I should mention that this is a free update to anybody that already owns Topaz lab sharpen AI all you need to do is open sharpen AI and it should prompt you for the update if for some reason it doesn't I'll have a link in the description below this video and you could go to that link and update it from there now let's generate the preview and it's done now it's didn't slam on the sharpening like it used to it seems to be much much better and i'm going to do a before after there's before after before after now i suspect you can't really see it in the video i of course am 18 inches away from my computer screen so i could see the difference but i'm going to zoom in right here for you on the video so there's before after before, after. So you could see it really did a great job of sharpening this image. Now I want to talk about another new feature it has. We'll go to this image of this lion cub and you can see it's a little bit soft. So we're going to go to mode again and I'm going to do an auto mode. And again for this one it, it picks sharpen and we'll go to auto settings and then I'll go to update the preview. So it's going to update the preview. Also, um, I want to mention that um, if you don't already own Sharpen AI, they have it on sale for the next couple weeks. It's $20 off, and I actually have a 15% discount code that will save you 15% more. I'll have a link to that in the description below the video. And also, they have, 54, they have a sale on their utility bundle, $54 off. The utility bundle includes JPEG to RAW AI, Denoise AI, Sharpen AI, and Gigapixel AI, and I have a link to that in the description below the video as well. All right, here's Mr. Lion Cub. Uh, there is before, 
and there's after before after you can see how it just cleaned up uh, you know the little fuzziness that was there it didn't overly sharpen the image but another new feature it has it has an auto mask feature so if I click on this little mask button over here if I go over on the left you can see find objects if I click on that it found a cat now obviously it's not a domestic cat but it is a cat and then if I click on that little checkbox you'll see that it masks it so just the lion cub will get the sharpening and not everything else so we'll click update on that and now it will take care of the sharpening um, in a more specific way and with this latest version of sharpen AI it will sense uh, 20 different things or maybe over 20 things people cars planes various animals I've tried it uh, when it came out last night I was trying it on um, my house cats it always found them my late great dog Archie uh, found him uh, we'll go down here and apply the mask and um, anyway it it did a great job uh, finding different things it finds birds now one thing it doesn't do and I wish it did do and I think this might be a feature down the line I don't have any inside knowledge of this but when it applies a mask let's say you have an image that has a person a car and a dog in it all right um, it will find all three of those and on the left hand side it will show all three and you could check all three and it will mask for all three but it's a hundred percent mask and there may be a situation where you don't want to sharpen the person as much as you do the dog or the car so what I think might come down the line is this um, application gets smarter and smarter is I think it will have a varying mask which will allow you to apply varying amounts of sharpening automatically to various objects and people in the scene so um, that is another new feature now for our last image um, they addressed another complaint I had with it um, quite often if you had an image like this this is my oldest son and his fiance by the way um, he had an you know where you had a lot of bokeh on the back right and so I purposely shot this so that they were in focus and the background was really blurry so we're gonna do an auto uh, mode and you can see this time it picked focus and we'll do auto here and um, you know what I'm gonna zoom out just a tad so you could see everything okay and then I'm gonna do update now this will take a longer uh, time to update because it's got more pixels to update so what I'll do is I'll fast forward the video uh, to uh, the completed preview okay yeah, we're back you can see how it ruined the image right now obviously a pick focus now I could probably pick sharpen and it would be better uh, then I'd have to generate another preview again but with this new auto mask feature I could go to the mask button down here then I could go to find objects and it found a person I actually found two people but we'll click on that and you could see how it automatically masked them and then I could update the preview again so it won't ruin your images like it does sometimes you may remember in that previous video um, I forgot what it, I think it was some type of um, primate I had a picture of a monkey or something and it just ruined the image and um, this will help you not ruin your images so I'll fast forward the video again and we'll get to the end result okay it's done I'll turn the overlay off and you could see that it didn't ruin the image it's just got them nice and sharp and didn't you know make the background uh, defocused at all so I changed my opinion of Sharpen AI. Um, I think with this update, they addressed um, pretty much every issue I had with it. And I think that uh, the sky's the limit. I think there's going to be a lot more um, like this artificial intelligence. I think it's going to seep its way into post processing a lot more going forward, not just with Topaz Labs, but with all the different companies. I think you're going to see. Um, a lot more AI features and I think it's going to really help us post process our images now again in the description below the video I'll have a link to everything links to everything I talked about and I'd like to thank you for watching my videos I really do appreciate it talk to you guys soon